Dear students, good morning. Please note down. These notes are available in the description of video. Please download your notes. In today's lecture, we will discuss ultrastructure, fine structure, electron microscopic structure of a cilium or flagellum. Note down all competitive exam students. In today's lecture, we will clear ultrastructure, electron microscopic structure of a cilium or flagellum. Structurally, both cilia and flagella are similar. Each cilium or a flagellum shows following four parts. Note down four parts. First part is rootlets or rhizoplast. Note down each and every point. First part is rootlets or rhizoplast. This second part of a cilium or a flagellum. This one is very important. It is basal body, basal granule, kinetosome root, or it is blepharoplast. Third part is this one is this plate like structure which lies at the level of cell membrane, plasma membrane. This third part is it is basal plate. And the next part, fourth part of this cilium or flagellum, which is extracellular. This one is this elongated hair like projection. This outgrowth is, it is fourth part that is shaft. It means ultrastructure of a cilium or flagellum that shows four parts. First part, rootlets or rhizoplast. These are rootlets or rhizoplast. Fine hair-like outgrowths. And these fiber-like structures which develop from the lower part of this basal body, basal granule. These rootlets or rhizoplast are meant for fixation, which provide mechanical support. These rootlets provide mechanical support to this basal body. The second part, it is basal body, basal granule, kinetosome, or it is blepharoplast. Very important, very important. These are Four important topics, cilia, flagella, basal body and centriole. In tomorrow's lecture, we will discuss centriole and basal body. This basal body, its structure resembles centriole. In tomorrow's lecture, we will clear the structure of centriole. This basal body that lies in the cell cytoplasm, just below the cell membrane, and this basal body gives rise a cilium or flagella. This basal body consists of peripheral triplets. These are nine in number. And in its, in its center, a proteinaceous hub is there. And these peripheral triplets remain connected with this central protein hub with the help of radial fibers called spokes. No down, this central protein structure is, it is HUB, it is hub. This basal body doesn't possess central fibrous. It means this basal body shows an arrangement of 9 plus 0. These nine peripheral triplets are present in outer region but in center region there is no fibrous it shows 9 plus 0 arrangement like centrioles and the structure of centriole i will clear in next lecture this part is third part it is basal basal plate first part rootlets or rhizoplasts these are fine hair like projections and these rootlets which develop from the basal part lower part of this basal body which are involved in the fixation which provide mechanical support to this structure and this second part it is basal body basal granule blepharoplast kinetosome that shows 9 plus 0 arrangement only peripheral 9 triplets are present and each triplet having one, two, three, A, B, C, three subunits. And in the center, 
no central fibrils only a protein structure that is hub hub is present and third part it is base cell plate and this base cell plate lies at the level of plasma membrane cell membrane this base cell plate it gives two central two central singlet fibrils which grows outwardly and at the level of this basal plate one sub fibril disappears no down the third part it is basal plate which lies at the level of this plasma membrane at this level one this sub fibril of the triplet it disappears and in this outward region one two two central singlet fibrils appear the fourth part that is shaft this hair like projection this one is shaft and each shaft having two parts the shaft is covered by a membranous sheath and this membranous sheath it is simple extension of this plasma membrane this sheath is the sheath is double layer and this sheath which encloses which encloses is semi fluid the matrix in this matrix in this matrix of a cilium of flagellum here in this matrix is structure that is axoneme or axial filament in each every competitive exam this question comes what is axoneme or axial filament in this shaft region this internal component that is axial filament which lies in semi fluid matrix this is axoneme or axial filament which is made up of 9 plus 2 strands the nine the nine strands these are peripheral and these are peripheral doublet fibrils each fibril having one two subunits here these are, this is the transverse section of this entire structure it shows ls of a cilium or flagellum this is the structure of flagellum which shows ls longitudinal section of a flagellum and this ls shows these peripheral means outer fibrils and these are one two triplets but in this basal body these are triplets a b c but here in this shaft this axoneme axial filament having peripheral doublets and each doublet having two subunits a and b very important very important here a subunit each a subunit having two arms outer arm inner arm this outer arm possesses a hook and this inner arm this inner arm remains connected with the next doublet by a linker and this linker is it is b a linker or competitive exam students it is a b linker or it is interdoublet linker and this linker this connection is it is made up of a protein that protein is naxi here in case of axoneme that is a that is an internal component of it is structural component of a cilium or flagellum that axoneme which is made up of 9 plus 2 strands these nine strands are peripheral in outer region and each peripheral strand filament fibril are doublets having two subunits a and b this a subunit produces two arms this outer arm possesses a hook and this inner arm that remains connected with this b subunit of next double doublet by a linker it is a b linker or it is b a linker or it is inter doublet linker 
and this linker is made up of nexin protein and each a and b subunits are made up of microfilaments a a subunit having 13 microfilaments while in this b subunit 10 globular proteins means 10 microfilaments are there and in the central region in the central region two central singlet fibrils are present these peripheral outer are doublets having two subunits but in this central region the two strands one two strands and each strand having one unit means these are singlet one a one and two and each singlet these are made up of microtubules and each singlet having 13 microfilaments like a subunit having 13 microfilaments in b subunit 10 globular proteins 10 microfilaments but in each central singlet 1 and 2 there are 13 microfilaments the protein of these arms a arms outer and inner arms and these arms are made up of dynein proteins <coughs> this A subunit <coughs> and this A subunit gives rise a radial fiber inwardly these singlets central singlets are surrounded by a central sheath protein sheath and these central singlets remain connected interconnected by a double bridge as well as this central sheath remains connected with the A subunit by a radial fiber that is spoke and its spoke its terminal thickening is this internal thickening is it is head and this radial spoke remains connected with this central sheath by a junction this one is transition junction no down in case of a cilium or flagellum, nine strands are in peripheral region, outer region, and two strands, one, two, these are central. This is nine plus two arrangement. These outer peripheral are doublets, having two subunits A and B. And this A subunit possesses two arms outer and inner. And this outer arm possesses a hook. Both these arms are made up of a protein that is dynein. This inner arm remains connected with this B subunit of next doublet that is BA linker. And this connection is made up of nexin protein. While these doublets and singlet these fibrils are made up of tubulin proteins. These singlets, central singlets, are surrounded by a protein sheath. And these singlets remain connected, interconnected by a double brace. From this A subunit, a radial fiber that is a spoke. And this spoke produce a thickening that is head. And it remains connected with this central sheath by transition junctions this is transverse section of a cilium or flagellum this is ls longitudinal section of a flagellum this shaft its outer sheath that is a double layered covering and that is an extension of plasma membrane this this is the diagram of the sheath may be smooth 
or the sheath may possess fine hair like outgrowths it means in case of a flagellum this sheath may be smooth or it may possess fine lateral outgrowth hair like projections in case of flagellum the sheath without any lateral projections then it is a smooth or it is whiplash flagellum and in case of a flagellum the sheath that is not smooth that sheath possesses fine outer hair like outgrowths and these projections outgrowths are flimmers or mastigonemes it means in case of this flagellum which is a tinsel type in which these fine the sheath possesses fine hair like projections these are flimmers these are mastigonemes and these are the structures of sub unit a and b having 13 micro filaments in a sub unit and b sub unit having 10 globular proteins 10 micro filaments and the central singlet which are made up of 13 micro filaments this is all about ultra structure of cilium or flagellum in next lecture means tomorrow we will discuss centriole